Hey everybody, this is Mike Raber down at Tackle Shack. It is mid-September, which means it's about the best time of year to be a smallmouth angler, and that is because it is A-Rig season. Uh, I have been in love with throwing an A-Rig for a long time. A lot of you guys have seen videos I've done about throwing it. It works right now, I can attest to that. Um, and especially for you guys, if you are my Detroit River BFL guys, you know, going to Erie, going to St. Clair, it's time. Uh, that bait will be an absolute factor uh, in next week's Super Tournament. There is no question about it. It is every single year. If I could only have one thing to throw out there, it'd probably be the rig. So it's time. Um, but so many of you are intimidated by it. That's the number one question that I get and that we get here at Tackle Shack is, how do I set this thing up? It's always a pain in the butt. It's so big and heavy and goofy and it gets tangled up. Well, some of you might think of an A-Rig and think of something like this conglomeration here. Just a complete disaster. Absolute train wreck, right? Just got hooks everywhere, wires all stuck together, baits flying through the air. That's garbage. You don't have to look at it that way, I'm telling you. It's not an intimidating bait. It really isn't. Um, at the end of the day, you want a nice, clean um, A-Rig setup that's not too heavy, it's easy to throw, it's user-friendly, and it just catches big fish. And basically what that comes down to are good components, a good rig to start with, good components, uh, and then the right setup, basically the right configuration of the rig. But if you are consistently uncomfortable with your A-Rig setup, if you feel like you never know if you're setting it up right, if your hooks are screwed up, you're using the wrong weights, whatever the case may be, we are going to unveil something to you in this video that's going to be really exciting. Uh, something that I've talked about doing for a long time because I learned it a few years ago and it changed my life with A-Rigging. Uh, it's so simple now for places where you can only have three hooks. If you can have five hooks, it's easy, right? You just get your bite me jig heads out of the bag, you put them on the rig, you put swim baits on the rig, you start casting and reeling. I mean, but in our BFLs and in our Indiana tournaments, you can only use three hooks legally. So, uh, to, to follow the law and to make sure you're doing it right and still not sacrificing bites, there's only one way I know of successfully setting up a rig, and we're going to offer that to you. So, when you buy the Shane's Baits Mini Blades of Glory, which is my personal favorite rig, I know Dobson just did a seminar for us, he said this is his favorite rig, the thing just catches fish, guys. Like, I do throw a couple other rigs. Um, but if I could have one, this is the one. I started with the Flash Mob Junior, but the bottom line is, to me, this has better components, it gets more bites, and it lasts longer than what a Flash Mob Junior does, so I go with this one. Um, this is what it looks like straight out of the pack. So it's got good hardware and everything, but it's set up for five hooks. So the drawback of that is if you don't know what you're doing and you set up your five hooks, for one, you're only legal in Michigan where you're not fishing a tournament. So this is it, this is extremely simple but we're going to take the work out of it for you and that's that's the part that i think you're all going to be excited for what if you could just buy a rig that came out just like this it's got your three hooks down here ready to go where fish are always going to bite it to begin with always i mean i literally can't even tell you when i ever had hooks on the top sometimes if i've caught a double or a triple i've done it where they'll eat the top one but if i'm just fishing and i catch one fish never ever ever in the thousands of bass i have caught have i hooked one on the top so here you've got your three hooks on the bottom these are bite me uh swim shaky heads and you've got two of the best invention for a rig fishing the owner cps spring up top they're basically a hitchhiker uh, that's the size medium so what that's going to end up looking like is this really well put together rig that's just set up to go. Um, it's got dummies on the top. There's no hooks in it, no weight. So it's going to ride high in the water column. And you're going to have these down here that are sitting down low. They've got great hooks, super glued on there. You're good to go. Um, and I mean, that's, that's going to be your perfect day rig setup. When we talk about the perfect setup rig, what the Tackle Shack rig is going to offer you is basically set up like this. So you've got your swim bait heads below. As you can see, those are all set up. Those are Kytec 3.3s. Um, on the top, we also have Kytec 3.3s. I often also go 2.8s for my dummies, but those springs allow those baits to be held just like that. They're completely weightless. But since we took the swivel out of the equation, the baits don't spin, so they still get a good swimming action. That is the setup I've used for a few years now. I absolutely love it. There is no other way to throw a rig if you have to use three hooks, which in BFLs we do. So take the guesswork out of it for yourself and snag one of these. That way you don't have to worry about again if you're doing it right or if you're doing it wrong. A mini blades of glory.
which is a great rig and it's not terribly expensive, it's $15. And you were to buy an owner CPS spring pack and you were to buy your bite me shaky heads, which come in a pack like this, you're looking at about $24.50 to set up one of these rigs, roughly. Um, you know, basically with that, you're still going to have to do all the cutting, all the connecting that we do for you. But you can buy this rig, which is the T-Shack Fully Legal Rig. You can buy it for $24.99. $5 shipping to you Michigan BFL guys, that's it. Um, they will get to you in a couple days. We can ship them out in plenty of time for you guys to have them for practice next week. And we're only going to have 20 to 25 available for now. Um, so snag them quick if you want them. I'm telling you, it's the best way to go. What we are going to do is put three 16th ounce heads on there. I think that's going to be a good overall size for most of you guys. Um, sometimes I throw eighths, sometimes I throw quarter, but for the most part, somewhere in that eighth to quarter range is the way to go. So you are going to now be able to buy a fully set up rig. All you need to do is add swim baits, start casting, and start catching. That is the T-Shack fully legal rig now available on the website. Uh, it's going to be a great one for you guys to get. It's going to take the guesswork out of A-Rig fishing, and for that, we are excited. So get on the website. It's going to be posted in here on this video. Um, it's going to be in the comments. It's going to be tagged in the video. So get to the website. Get it bought. Uh, again, 30 bucks. You're going to have one of these right to your door, fully set up, ready to go, ready to catch some fish. So fish on.